slow down movie. Take a breath. Andy and his things, his clothes and his toys. And one very C is using things that belong to his school. All right, who's been flossing with the movie? Don't you think it's fun making things like this? The diorama-rama. Andy does. Too bad this is math class. Miss Ballard is pleased. But now it's time for the children to return to their desks. They're going to practice writing. Andy likes that. He likes to write. He'll hurry back to his desk. Sorry, that was a stage direction. But Andy forgot things. It's bad. Your teacher is disappointed in you when you don't seem to... Taking care of your short film. After school, Andy doesn't feel like playing with his friends. But he wants to do something. Rebel without a pube. Now what does he see? This is Fred. He isn't one of Andy's regular friends. He's older. He watches Disney XD. But Andy's thinking Fred might be a friend. And Fred's thinking that Andy may be almost big enough. If Andy can have an older boy as a friend, then nobody can call him baby anymore. Ooh, sad. So he asks Fred to come and see his tadpoles. He has two live ones. Ooh, that's a red flag. Fred might like to see the tadpoles sometime. Then Andy tells Fred about something else he has, something he received as a present. Fred would like to see that. Go to Andy's house. Ooh, this movie has a MacGuffin. I bet it's like an amulet or an idol or this something. This is Andy's room. Here's Andy, with Fred. At Tanagra. And here are Andy's tadpoles. See? Oh, they're dead. And Andy suspects foul play. Now Andy remembers he hasn't thought to feed them for many days. <laughs> Whoops. And that was one of his responsibilities. He made a promise to a dying frog. But he can still show Fred his special present. Fred, run. That's what Fred came to see. If Andy can only find it. His very best thing of all. A Cheeto that looks like a wiener. He just has to find it. Because Fred might not believe him and... That's bad. Fred says he should have known better than to come home with a little kid. Give me a call when you can watch PG movies. Now Andy's really alone. Just him and his tadpole. Oh, right. And look at this. His jet airplane. That costs two billion dollars. Poor Andy. Won't he ever learn to take care of things? Uh, I'm guessing in the next six minutes or so. Here's June, Andy's sister. She wants to play. But Andy says no. He pushes everyone away. It seems Andy just can't get along with anybody today. Look out, it's the frog mafia. Oh, wait, it's Mom. Anybody but Mother. Maybe Mother knows where Andy's special present is. No, she doesn't. Ma, you're killing me. But she does know that something is troubling Andy. What is it? A narrator? So Andy tells her about what happened at school. And about Fred and the tadpoles and losing his present and... And about Korea. Well, why do things like that happen? Mother says, well, Andy, why do you think? Calvinism? Because Mother knows... And Andy knows, and we know... Don't drag me into this. ...that those things happen because Andy hasn't learned to take care of things. Wow, Mom threw Andy under the bus. Now June is having trouble with her things. Gretchen's head has come off, and June wants Mother to fix it. Paste it. Suddenly, Andy says, let me fix it. Right now, he's going to start showing that he can take care of things. And it's broken beyond repair. Don't you suppose Andy is glad to do something to make up for being so mean to June? To be honest, it feels a little desperate, but sure. Besides, it's fun fixing things. See? Look, fun. When you're through, it's more fun to know you've done a good job. And it's fun to see how much people appreciate it. Now Andy knows he has friends. He doesn't have to cut himself today. He thinks he can fix that jet airplane, too. And broker peace in the Middle East! But some things can't be fixed. Unless... And no fixing will find things you've lost, such as Andy's favorite present. No, Andy will have to take care of his things all the time. First thing tomorrow. He'll begin right now by putting his jacket and cap away where they belong. Then he'll know just where to find them tomorrow morning. That's another one of his responsibilities. Looking fine. But, uh-oh, there's a button missing. And the remaining buttons are dead. 
Well, Mother will be glad to sew on a new button. Especially now that Andy is helping her by looking after his clothes. Not like she had any plans today. Andy's going to look after his other things, too. He's going to have a certain place for each thing. And keep each thing in its place. His merciless reign begins now! And he knows one way to show Fred and the kids at school that he's no little kid. And he's really quite grown up. He'll sue them all for slander. Ever since then... Andy's been thinking about how grown up it is to take care of things. When he cleans up his wagon, he thinks about how often he sees the firemen working over their fire engines and equipment to make sure everything is always ready to use. Andy's got big plans for the fire department. Andy has some new fish in place of his tadpoles. I wonder what it'll be tomorrow. When he feeds them, he thinks of cousin Len, who helps his father take care of the cows on his dairy farm, where Andy likes to visit. The animals smell death on Andy. When Andy picks up things that might cause someone to fall and hurt himself, he thinks of his friend the policeman, who helps the children go to and from school safely. Yeah, my cousin's in the big city busting gangsters and wooing dames, and I pull this bum detail. Andy has learned, too, that some things break very easily. Like hearts and collarbones. So he must be especially careful of them and use them just as they're supposed to be used. That's being grown up, too. Many men work with things made of glass and with other things that have to be handled very carefully. Like science bongs. Some things that are fun to do are also messy. But Andy has learned to clean up the mess as soon as he's through. After all, doesn't Mother spend a great deal of time washing dishes and cleaning up after the family has eaten? Yeah, but she enjoys it. And when Father does his jobs about the house, doesn't he clean up and put away the tools? Yeah, well, okay, bad example, but you know what I'm saying. Yes, cleaning up after yourself is a grown-up way to behave. And what's more, you'll know you've done something that's a real help to your family. Like helping Mom hoard the newspapers and putting new air fresheners next to the dead pets. Taking care of things is a real help at school, too. You just know Miss Ballard appreciates Andy's help. She'll fix it all later. And nobody thinks of Andy as a baby anymore. Everybody likes Andy. Uh Uh-oh, is this a dream? Today, Andy and June are having fun helping Father take care of the yard. They're learning lots of new curse words. But what is Andy so excited about? Do you know what? He's killed some more of God's creatures? He's found his special present. What do you suppose it is? Oh, well, I bet it's it's a... It's a camera. Hey, give me time to guess. Andy's own camera that he got on his birthday. Of course, it's a little dirty. (coughs) Andy should never have left it outdoors. Can they fix it? Should they fix it? Father thinks they can fix it this very afternoon. To the Apple Store! In a little while, the camera is fixed. What's more... Now that Andy has shown that he can be responsible for taking care of things and using them properly. How has he demonstrated that? Father thinks he's big enough to use the camera and take real pictures. Of real supermodels. Andy wants to take a picture of Fred, the boy who came to see the camera the day Andy couldn't find it. Remember? I do, I do. Now Fred is glad to play with Andy. He knows that Andy is not too little to be a friend. Consumer products for the win. If you want people to know that you're growing up, learn how to take care of things. You'll have more fun, too. Look, Andy seems like a nice kid, and I hate to be that guy, but all he really did in this movie was confront that he has a problem. He's got a long way to go before he actually takes care of things, all right? Otherwise, great movie.